open exchange of intellectual ideas and scientific advancement, then everyone is able to benefit from those advancements. And if you look at the way the scientific community has worked, it's largely been open architecture, which basically means whoever has pushed science forward on whatever dimension, that is made available to everyone else. And therefore, you have a global effort that feeds on itself, which is why the scientific advancements over the last 50 years have been far greater than entire history before that. And it's because of that. And, and clearly, when you get in the way of that, which the US is doing today by basically identifying scientists as potential spies, about cutting back on visas for students, uh, with the idea that, again, they could be helping the other side, uh, all of which is, in the end, ultimately self-defeating.